Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And this is our learning target. I can make equivalent expressions and find the missing numbers using addition and subtraction. And to start, we will have our story in the mango farm. Now, Kay harvested 11 mangoes in their farm while Neil harvested 9. They both wanted to bring home equal numbers of mangoes. How many mangoes did each of them bring home? And that's what we're going to find out. So let's look at the mangoes of these two boys. Now, these are Kay's 11 mangoes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And he wanted to share one to his friend Neil so that both of them could bring home the same number of mangoes. That's why he gave one to his friend. And now, if it is going to be a number sentence, it will be 11 minus 1 equals 10. Now, since Neil got only 9 mangoes, then K gave him 1 from his mangoes. That's why he also have 10 because 9 plus 1 is equals 10. Both children will each bring home 10 pieces of mangoes. But what do you notice in the number sentences? Yes, both have the same answers. Both have 10 as their answer. Now, 11 minus 1 equals 10 and 9 plus 1 equals 10. They are what we call equivalent number expressions. And equivalent number expressions give answers with the same value. So, the difference in the first equation and the sum in the second equation are both 10. Now, these are other possible number sentences in subtraction that we may also use as equivalent number expressions like 11 minus 1 equals 10, 12 minus 2 equals 10, 13 minus 3 equals 10, and 14 minus 4 equals 10. So these are all subtraction number sentences. Now, compared with 9 plus 1 equals 10, 8 plus 2 equals 10, 7 plus 3 equals 10, and 6 plus 4 equals 10, these are also possible addition number sentences and used as equivalent expressions. Now, let's have other examples. So we have 17 minus 1 equals 16 and 8 plus 8 equals 16. Both have the same answer. Both have 16 as their answers. Now we have also 18 minus 2 equals 16, 19 minus 3 equals 16, 20 minus 4 equals 16, and 21 minus 5 equals 16. So these are all possible subtraction sentences as equivalent expressions compared with 10 plus 6 equals 16, 9 plus 7 equals 16, 8 plus 8 equals 16, and 7 plus 9 equals 16. Now, we can also use composing and decomposing of numbers to create equivalent expressions. For example, we have 3 and 5 together. Then what is the missing number? And when we remove 2 from 10, what is also the missing number? Good job! We have 8. So when we combine 3 and 5 together, we'll have 8. And when we remove 2 from 10, then we will also have 8. Another, 5 and 4 together, what is the missing number? And when we remove 2 from 11, what's the missing number? Good job! We have 9 because 5 and 4 together, we will have 9. And when we remove 2 from 11, then we will have 9 as well. Good job, my dear grade 1. Now you already know how to make equivalent expressions and find the missing numbers in them.